So hi dear Virgo, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Virgo Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with your the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. The action can be from your side also. This is a reading from uh, 18 till the 24th of June and this is a reading for those who are in no contact with each other. And this reading is valid for every sign that you are dealing with, uh, including your own sign. Okay, so let's start. Virgo, the person that you are in no contact with, their current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Just give me a second. Yeah. Their current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Let's see. We have the Eight of Swords, the Devil and the King of Cups. And the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So someone here is constantly overthinking about you, overthinking about this situation. Over, overthinking plus uh, not able to stop thinking about this situation between you and them. Someone is obsessively in love with you, Virgo. Okay. See, the thing is, uh, this person is showing me two different personality of theirs. One personality is very loving, caring and nurturing. The second personality is like obsessing over you, over the situation. They feel like uh, you should not be with anyone else, uh, like apart from them. You are just kind of a property to them or you are something that, uh, uh, that, uh, you know, uh, that they, I uh, like they own, okay? So it's like, uh, and uh, even if they're trying to stop thinking about you, about this situation, about this connection, they cannot stop thinking about it. Again, this person is having multiple personalities, I feel, uh, and I, I think you fell for the personality that was uh, loving and caring and nurturing, and now they are showing you the worst out of them, and you're not liking it, but they are obsessively thinking about this situation, trying to run away from the emotions that they have for you, but they can't e even run away. Wow, I'm not going to label this person as a toxic person because uh, this is uh, uh, not valid, but I feel this is someone who is having multiple personalities. One is, uh, again, I'm getting the same thing again and again. So multiple personalities, loving, nurturing, obsessive, can't stop thinking about you, trying to run away from their feelings, but can't even run away from the feelings. Okay. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation, Virgo? We have the King of Swords, the Eight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. Okay. No matter how hardly they are obsessing over you, this person is trying their best to get the clarity to get out of this situation, walk away from the situation and find the balance in their own life as of now. This person is getting their own individual issues, okay? Uh, they're getting to know because of this situation between you and them, they're getting to know that there's something that is off in them. There's something that's not healthy in them, in their nature, in their character. So that's why they're trying their best to uh, find the stability within themselves, first of all, the balance within themselves, first of all. So right now they are just trying their best to uh, like uh, be completely detached from the situation, walk away from this situation and find their peace, inner peace, inner balance and stability in their overall life. Okay. And uh, they want to get let go of this crossroad kind of situation where they're not able to see the clear picture of the future, not able to see where they should go or which direction should, should they choose in their life. That's why they are just trying to detach and let it go. Wow. It is, it is a very wise thing that actually this person is doing because... On one side, I do see this person being toxic and another side is loving and caring and uh, they themselves is having very uh, hard time to understand what they are actually going through and that's why they are just choosing to detach and let it go and uh, find their inner peace. This is really, really very wise and mature. <clears throat> Let's see what this person, uh, like uh, what action is this person going to take towards the situation, if any, take towards you, if any, what action is this person going to take towards you? If any in the situation, just give me a second. Yeah. We have the five of cups, the nine of cups and the ace of wands and the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. Right now, this person is going through major, major, major transformation is there in their life where they're trying their best to keep themselves as much as aligned and mature and practical and grounded as they can. They're thinking about having a brand new beginning with you, but as of now, they're dealing with lots of painful kind of energies and they carry a lot of regrets regarding the situation. That's why they're uh, trying to find their own way in their life and uh, not doing anything about it in the 3D world. 
moral of the story they are not going to take any kind of action because they themselves are on a crossroad right now they are dealing with this situation of okay i have to figure a way to come out of this painful kind of energies this regretful kind of energies and i have to work on myself before i can uh, connect with someone new or even with you okay right now they are just trying to protect their energies heal themselves and take a stand for their own individual and uh, individual healing this is right thing to do let's see what is the guidance for you people in this situation virgo <coughs> okay we have the strength card the 10 of cups uh, the hermit and the 10 of cups see right now all you have to do is uh, you have to fight with your inner fears head on okay it's not like fighting with your inner fears like you have to be brutal with yourself you have to disrespect yourself or you have to hate yourself you have to just uh, understand the, that like a pattern of your life cycle the pattern of your love and relationship cycle and then you need to understand what triggers you the most what makes you happy what makes you sad what makes you depressed and what is the one thing that you need to change in your love life and change in yourself so that your love life is going to flourish there is a need of change in within yourself nobody else no one else on earth outside of you inside of you there is a need of change of some kind of fear that you are having regarding love and relationships might be it all started from a family kind of connection in the childhood might be okay or you didn't saw a good family relationship in your family whatever the case may be you need to understand the trigger point you need to release that heal that and then only you will be able to have that happily ever after kind of uh, uh, family kind of dynamic and uh, uh, a beautiful relationship or <clears throat> loving nurturing kind of energy in your life this is uh, this is highly recommended for you to you know find the trigger point understand it release it heal it and then uh, go to the next chapter of your life with wisdom and knowledge and lots of uh, um, learning okay yep i hope i'm clear to you so thank you so much for tuning in uh, Virgo. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.